All right, so today we got Crypt of the Serpent King, it's supposed to be some sort of dungeon crawler. It's going for $2.99 on the uh, Nintendo eShop, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's go to settings first, gotta make sure the subtitles are on. All right, doesn't give me a choice for that. Let's see how to play. So we have move, look, jump, open, and pick up. Attack is, is ZR, and change weapon is R. And I think that's it. The objective is your main goal on each level is to defeat the final boss, which is in a locked room downstairs. Levels are randomly generated. Keys are found on altars spread or throughout the level. They are required to unlock the gate to the boss room. Defeat enemies to gain experience. At the start of each level, you can improve your attributes using XP. Weapons are unlocked at the start of each level using gold, which can be collected from loot chests. Loot chests can also contain food, which restores your health. If you take too much damage and run out of health, you will have to restart the level, keeping all your XP and gold on easy difficulty. Alright. <sighs> I'm gonna play it on casual. Well, I like both. You know, I really don't like to play two crazy hard games. Let's see. Let's just start on casual. I want to use a sword. All right, here we go. Not really sure how to switch over to my my bow. It's not letting me. I also cannot block. So my HP is already at 49. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, I can't break this. Oh. He's down. We got some food. More food. Didn't I get a uh, sword? Okay, so I found a key. Wow. And this is supposed to be on... Casual. I wonder why I didn't get my. Oh, okay, I see. You have to pay gold for it. Yeah, I don't have enough. So, my guess is that you keep playing until you get enough XP and gold to actually be strong enough to fight these uh, monsters. I would like to get the sword, though, that's for sure. 
Alright, so it randomly generated another dungeon here. I'm already being attacked. Food. I need more food. There we go. Got me some food. Ooh. Got me some gold as well. Alright, so here's the key again. So I have to jump over there. Okay, I got it. So many places to explore. Let me go check this place out over here first. Need to make sure there's nothing over here. All right, so it looks like it leads back to this side. I'm gonna check this area over here. Ah, right, here's another key. It's a good thing I came back. Oh, here's a monster. Ooh, I missed. I only see one. Alright, let me see if I can make it over here. Oh, here it comes. Alright, here's another room with the key. Gotta double check if there's no enemies. Hey, give me some more food. Ah, right, here's another key. At least I have enough XP now. Let's go ahead and... I think I, I want to get this here. Let's see if I have enough for that sword. 6,000 gold. No way. I don't have enough. Alright. So, so far I'm at level 2 with my agility. Hopefully that'll help me jump a little further. I feel like my jump is just at the limit where it covers that gap in the lava pit by the uh, keys. Alright, so we have to start all over. Alright, here it goes. Alright, there goes one down. Try to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. I wish there was another way instead of having to jump in this thing. Okay, I'm gonna take a leap from here. Okay, there we go. There's another rat following me around. Oh, there's two now. It's a good thing the other one got stuck.
I don't see any rats here. Alright, so this is the boss room right here. You can't see them though. Alright, I'm gonna go back up here. Keep looking around. The movement is really odd on this game. Just takes a little getting used to. But so far, I think it's fun. I mean, for $3, I mean, you can't go wrong. I'm a big fan of dungeon crawlers, so... I guess for me, it, it'll be worth it. You know, the combat's not that great. It's really slow. And the, uh... The hitbox is a little odd too. Go this way first. They both team up to me. Okay, I don't have enough to get an more um I don't have enough to get another one. So I'm just gonna keep going until until I hopefully collect most of the keys at least. I wonder how hard the uh the boss is. keep watching my back just in case another rat shows up because once you're surrounded they'll take you down pretty fast and there you go I died
So this place is pretty big. So this is where the uh, the boss is going to be. I need to find uh, five more keys. I've noticed some hits from the rats. Take more damage than the others. So maybe some rats are just stronger than, you know, the other rats. Okay, I hear music, but I don't see the rat. Oh, there it is. It scared me. They look all creepy coming from the dark. Gotta make sure they're not coming from behind. There's a lot of chests in here. I need to buy me a better weapon. Something with a bit of a long range to it. I really want to get my hands on that sword. All right, I'm gonna turn back right here. So far, so good. But I don't want to jinx it. All right, we need to get this key, but I just need to make sure there's no one here. All right, it looks safe. All right, here we go, here we go. Need to go back. Okay, we did it. Someone's coming. Uh, 
I need to check out this middle part right here. To the left. Alright, it looks clear. Alright, here we go. Alright, so far so good. Whew putting pressure on me. The closer I get to that 8. Gotta make sure there's no rats around here. Oh, there it is. Here he comes. Come on, bring it. Bring it! There he is. Two more to go. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a right. Just double checking. Sure, nothing's gonna come up behind me. Alright. Here we go for the seventh key. Ooh. Alright. Let me check the map real quick. Alright, so I need to go straight and then take a right. And see what's hiding over there. That's where the uh, last key is at, right here. This is the last key. The eighth key, and we get to see the boss here on this uh, lower level. So everything is clear. It looks like the whole map has been uh, laid out. I'm gonna get this final key. Whew, hopefully I don't fall. Here we go. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to go back. All right, all right. Now I just need to get myself over to the uh, the boss room. It's gonna be over here somewhere. This way. Hopefully he's not too hard. I wish you could block, or at least kind of dodge a little bit, but it doesn't seem like he can dodge. Alright. We're in the boss room. Oh! It's a human. That wasn't too bad. He was just hiding in that corner. Alright, I think I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. I'm gonna get this one, this one, and this one. Let's see if I can change my weapon.
I, mean, I can I can get this one. It looks like it could have some range. See, this one has a range of 2.5, so yeah, it does it does have a little bit more range to it. So I want to check that out. All right, let's go. Level two. Okay, so it changed up a little bit. Now we're in some sort of uh, sewer looking dungeon. I don't know if this will do damage if I touch it. No, it doesn't. All right. Let's see what kind of enemies we have in here. Which way should we go? Okay, we got some goblins in here. Okay, so these uh, goblins are a bit quicker. Which means I'll have to work on my movement speed. Oh yeah, they're definitely faster. Oh. And it kind of had like a little combo thing going on. What is that? It's like a bird of some kind. It looks super creepy. I'm definitely gonna need some more health though. I only have 24. I won't be able to fight them that way. So what I'm doing right now is I'm letting the uh, goblins swing first, and then I go in with the uh, with the stab. They're both coming. I need to take one. I need to take one down fast. Okay, here he goes. Music. 
Makes me think someone's coming up. The music changes a bit whenever an enemy shows up. You can hear the differences in the music. Watch. See? Alright, so far so good, but let me go over here and check uh, what I missed over here. Ooh, he got me, no way. He's coming. Yeah, there you go, see? You can hear the, the music change up a bit. There it goes. That'd be cool if this game had some sort of uh, VR support for the Switch. Makes me paranoid when the song gets like that. Oh, almost got burnt. Here, let me go over here first. Okay, let me see the map. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here first, and then uh, I'll come back to the spot I was in. But it should eventually connect, though. That's what I noticed. They eventually kind of just connect. There he is, he's coming. I see him. See, right there. Bring it, bring it. Food. So on this level here, the food doesn't give me that much health. It's a lot less than the last one I was in. I'm barely at 41. Yes, see it connects right here. Alright, so there's a lot of keys over here. So thankfully this one isn't as bad as the, uh, the lava one. The lava one is, uh... It's pretty weird. You know, the, the jumping on here is... You have to be very precise. Just don't want to get swiped by some goblin. I'm gonna get murked. All right, looks clear. Okay, the music is on. There it is.
So I'm gonna keep going this way. See what else I find. Because eventually I have to go back because uh, the boss room is over there. Alright, time to go back. Ooh. I almost burned myself. So far I'm at 77 health. If I can get a little bit more, at least 100 before I face that boss. I still got three keys to go though. There should be one more key here. keys. Here, let me check the map just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Alright, so it looks like everything's been covered on this um, on this uh, dungeon here. So I'm going to go all the way to the uh, boss room and see uh, how hard that boss is. I really like the game so far, it's nothing fancy. And um, it's actually really cheap, it's only $2.99. So, you know, a low budget game that you can play on the go. I think this is the right way, yeah. I personally uh, 
I think it's worth it, you know? I love these kind of games. Alright, so here it is. Oh, okay, it's a, it's another goblin. It just looks a little bit different. Couldn't really tell from the uh, first time I saw him from the side. He's ready, too. He's ready to go. Alright. Bring it. Bring it. You ready? You ready? Oh, 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 we closed. Ooh, no, 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 open. Okay, that's... Uh-oh. Uh so that means I can't get out of this little room? Ah. Oh. I was hoping to uh, kind of run around him. Alright, let's see what he got. Oh, that was easy. I really want to get this sword right here. And the, uh, one of the range stuff. Can't wait to use those. I wonder if they have some sort of unlimited, uh, ammo or if they can only carry, like, a certain amount. Because I can kind of see how it would make the game very easy. You know, especially if you have unlimited ammo. So, there you go, guys. So this is the, uh, Crypt of the Serpent King for the Nintendo Switch. It's uh, two ninety nine on the uh, Nintendo eShop on under the recent releases, so go check it out. I personally find it fun. If this is your type of game, you know you'll probably like it. So hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next time.